Hey there everyone, welcome back again. So today we are going to look at how to create EFS file, how to mount EC2 instances files on EFS files and use them. Like uh, we use EFS files for the sharing of files of two EC2 instances over the network, okay? So before that, you need to have instances like two separate instances already created. I have created them. So there is a small change that you need to do for this only. And before any of this, if you do not know how to create instances like EC2 instances, go and watch my videos on how to create each instance okay so now that is done after instance has been created come into security section over here scroll down you will see security groups click on this okay now you will get this section where you need to come here click on edit inbound rules okay now what i have added in the inbound rules while i was creating instances that i've only added ssh http and https but these are not enough to be honest, these are not needed. Only SSH is needed for the connection purpose. So we need to add NFS over here for file sharing. So what NFS means is network file system. So basically it will share your files over the network. That is necessary for EFS to work on the two instances that we have created. So let's add them quickly. Okay, NFS. As you can see, NFS, click on it. Here you have to choose anywhere. Okay. After that is done, click on save. That is the only change you need to do. Okay. And changing it on one instance is enough. There is no need to go and change into the second instance too. Anyway, I'll show you guys if it is changed or not on this. Okay. I'm going to open a new tab uh, because I don't want to close it again. Uh, you can come here. As you can see, NFS has been added. Okay. Now that is done. So the instances has been created. Now we need to create EFS file. So let's go and do it. Uh, let's go it into create in another page. Okay. Uh, come here. Click on EFS. Click on it. As you can see, there are no EFS until now. Click on this, get EFS file is given name or uh, EFS server. Okay. Click on create VPC, choose the default one, no need right? because we are just creating, right? So it has successfully created an EFS file. Just wait until it is done creating. Okay. It is done. Click on the EFS file. Now what you need to do here is that come down here, come into the network section it will be show you something like this like creating oh sorry creating okay wait until it is in available mode okay only after that we can do any changes to it i'll show you what to do so let's go to our instances and connect these instances to our local system if you want you can connect it on the network too so what i'm going to do is click on this or let's choose both of them and click on connect so it will take you to separate sections okay after you have come here uh, ssh client and ssh client so this is for server one and so first let's connect server one partial i'm gonna add two of them over here okay and i'm going to drag this down it will be separated this is to this side and this is to this side as you can see i have created uh kept both of them as separate okay now what we'll do is So you need to redirect your PEM file location and after that all you need to do is come back here again uh, this is server one right let's copy this and we'll paste it on server one as left side okay remember that click on yes same thing with server two uh come here it is done right let's close it uh server two copy this again come back here this is for server two click on it and paste it yes done we have done that and uh, let's do sudo su we will quickly update our this locations okay sudo su uh, after that i'll simply update them i'm showing you this side by side because it will be much easier for you to focus on it okay now the updates passed is done so after this i'm going to show you how to add them but let's first go to NFS, I mean EFS. And now uh, let's refresh this. As you can see, it is in available state. Now what you need to do here is in this network section, you need to click on manage. It will show you all the IP addresses for each of the available zones. These are the IP addresses and here security groups are there. You need to remove this default security group of the region that you have created instance and add that security group. First, let's go and look at the region. As you can see, US 1D, that is the region these two instances are there. 
Now what you, we are going to do is come here. This is that we are going to remove it and select our EFS servers security group, right? We have added NS NFS in that. That's why click on it. That's the only thing you need to do. Okay. It's okay if you want to create instances in different regions and use it. You can simply change that region security groups. Okay. That's all. Now click on save. Done. It has saved. Now, as you can see, it was not enabled before. It is now. Now click on attach over here. Okay. We are going to copy this NFS client link and paste it in our instances power shell. Okay. So I'm going to quickly show you this. It would be much easier. So first we have done is open the two instances. We have updated them. Now what we need to do is we have to install this NFS utils and both of them so that we can use that NFS client link. Okay. So what we are going to do is simply copy this. Okay. Now just come back here again and we'll install these both of them in this. Okay. That's done. And same thing with here too. install. Now it is installed. So what we need to do is copy this one. But before even that also we need to, we need to create directories for the respective the parts that we are trying to do. So I'm going to show you uh, one of the example ones how to do it. So the first server is this sudo mkdir and we are going to create this particular directory path for that. Okay. And for the second one, we are going to do the path this FS1, FS2, so that it would be, you know, differentiate for you to easily know that, okay, this is server one and this is server two. Okay. Let's copy this. And what we're going to do is come here and simply paste it. Okay. This directory will be created for you. Click on enter. Now that is created. Come here again. Click on the same here. Keep FS2 because this is server one and this is server two, right? Remember. So we are going to enter it. Now that is done. What you're going to do now is come here. Now we are going to copy this and come in here, click on it and simply paste it. And it is not done. Okay. Here, as you can see EFS, that is, this is by default for people who are trying to create EFS directly. It is for them, not for us. So we have created a path like this, right? A slash amount slash EFS one. We are going to give that slash. MND slash EFS one. That is the directory that we have created in that instance. So click on enter. Done. It is done. It took some time, but it is done. Same here again. Copy paste. And we're going to replace this with slash mount slash EFS two done. EFS two done. Now click on enter. This is also done. Now, both of them have the EFS file connection now. So whatever you create on one EC2 instance, uh, it will be directed to the another one too, because it is sharing over the network. Now we'll, let's look at how to do that. So as you can see, I have done this above step. I already copied this, but since it, we are doing it in a different way. So that's why I have copied from there and uh, renamed it. So now we have done this part. Okay. Now let's do this part. This is te uh, a test file from instance one. So we are going to create a file in this directory mount EFS one and test file.txt. We are going to create that. So let's create it. Okay. Echo. You can use the other commands that Linux has to create files to no issue. Okay. I'm just going with this one. Echo. This is a test file from instance one. You can simply put it as simple one, but for my understanding purpose, I'm keeping it. Click on enter. Uh, that is done. Okay. This test file has been created. Let's click on list minus one. Okay, I'll simply copy paste it. It's easier for you guys. Okay, now let's copy this. I already created minus one. We are going to copy this directory location. Okay, now paste it. So you have to type this command ls minus one slash mount slash efs one. It will show you the files in that particular mount. Okay, as of now, only test file is over there. Okay, done. Now what we are going to do is come back here into this particular EC2 instance. We are going to do the same procedure. Okay. You have to come to we can do this later. Okay, come here. What do you have to do? Same sudo make directory and create your files in there. So just copy it. Okay, this is for uh, EFS two right now. Click on it. Done. Same thing. What you will be doing is you can have copied the same file, but this time we have to rename it. Uh, let's rename it as two. And here we have to rename it as two also and come back here. Let's rename it two also. So these are the changes you need to make. It's not difficult. Okay. Click on enter. Now the same again. So now that is done. Come back here again and we have to list them. So before uh, uh, we have created what this one, right? So if we use this, it will show you any lists are there in this particular EFS. We can verify it. Okay. 
let's click on it as you can see test file 1 and test file 2 are there over here right before here it was only test file 1.txt right but here it has two of them because it already shared the uh, server 1 file over the server 2 right now let's come back here again we'll do the same command and enter as you can see the text file 1 and 2 are there in this also that's how you share your files over the network anyway we have done that right let's look at the message of the file this command is used to look at the message of the file cat so this particular uh, okay i'll just give you you can see it over here cat mount efs2 slash test 2 dot file so this is for the efs2 one but we are not using it on efs2 we are using it on efs1 so enter this is a test file from instance 2 as you can see that is what we have given in the second server .txt file that is what it's showing over here this is how you share your files over the network using efs and now i hope this video has helped you a lot i am glad uh, to be honest it worked in the first time when i was practicing it did not work at all i i got so much errors i have to go through so many things this was the error i got uh, which was this one the efs one as you can see the mount efs2 this one is here right i wasn't able to get that error at all i was trying so many things for some reason while i was copy and pasting in my vs code here i i was shocked that like why is it is efa is it in it like mount slash efs right that's when i got to know so do not make this error okay do not make this mistake at all i hope this video has helped you a lot thank you for watching the video like share subscribe for more content like this uh, i hope these videos are helping you a lot please Mention in the comments below if you want more videos like this or any similar videos uh, like this or any problems that you are facing. I'm ready to help you all. Okay. I'm trying to gain a community over here. So I was inactive for many days, to be honest, uh, over 10 to 15 days, I think I uh, had some work. I'm sorry that I was not posting content from here on. I'll try to post every week at least one video or possibly more too. Okay. I'll think about it. Okay. So thank you for watching the video. What are you still here for? Go and do your EC2 instance and EFS project, okay? I mean, whatever that is. Okay, bye-bye.